All right, chances are this is not going to be your favorite topic of conversation. Death. You heard me right. Let's talk about death. I want to bring in our Solutionaries correspondent, Tiffany Salome. Welcome to the team. We're happy to have you. And I'm sorry to start on a weird note, but I have to ask you, have you prepared? Do you have a plan in place if something happens to you? Honestly, no, Vic, I haven't. It's an uncomfortable conversation, yeah. but death is inevitable, right? So maybe we should be planning for it. Our goal with Solutionaries is to find solutions to everyday problems. We're going to look at the proof that exists that these solutions actually work and also examine the limitations because we know that if there was a perfect solution out there, we wouldn't have the problem in the first place. So let's talk about how to make things easier for your loved ones and how you can have peace of mind, how to protect your assets, how to make a plan and how to stay out of court. The past three years have been difficult for Russia Awad. She lost her father. He was only 58. After his passing, we didn't really think about, you know, creating a will or any kind of, you know, legal documentation of what his wishes were. So now we're kind of going through the system right now, both in the U.S. and overseas in Jordan to uh, get uh, proxy rights. Her father, my uncle Kamal or Kenny, was terminally ill. He died in 2020 from an incurable infection in his blood. Tell me about about your dad, your uncle. Yeah. Yeah. My dad came to the States in the 80s, so he was about young 20s, came to marry my mom. They kind of grew up together in their teens, had three kids. My dad really kind of worked his way up in life. He, you know, used to work in a dish pit. He learned all about the restaurant business, ended up opening up his own restaurant, which was very, very successful in the south side of Syracuse. But he was just a really hard worker. He had great character, great morals, great values. Um, always provided, we never went without anything. Yeah, very well loved, very hard working. You know, I would go visit Syracuse yeah. from Florida and like, you know, first thing I wanted to do is go visit Kenny's, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. was his diner. And you know, yeah. it's always full of people. Best home fries in town. Yeah, okay. to All this right. day, I still ask her, uh, yeah. her mom to make me some breakfast. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. <laughs> Since Kamal's passing, Russia has been trying to get ownership of nearly five acres of land in her father's name overseas in what was once Palestine and now Israel. So you've got this land on the table. What's yeah. the process been like trying to yeah. Get it for your family, right? Yeah, 100%. So I think the most complicated part is the legal system over there. It gives male heirs a bigger piece of the pie, so to say. Long story short, it is complicated. That land is tied up in the court system overseas. And there's also the question of who gets which piece of property between the siblings. If you could turn back time, let's say five years ago, what would you do? A lot of things, um, medical proxy rights, um, even just getting my Jordanian citizenship, setting up those proxy rights so that now that we're here, we don't have to kind of deal with the back and forth and, you know, paper trails and documentations and filing different petitions and um, it would have been a lot easier. So how can you make things easier? Whether your assets are a half a world away or right in your backyard, it can be an unnecessary burden without a plan in place. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Let's have the conversations. They're not always fun, but this is a, a fun way to do it. I think the pizza helps for sure. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. It's certainly, you know, estate planning is certainly not a conversation that everybody wants to have. And sometimes you have to co coerce people to have it. But I mean, it's an important conversation. And so thanks for uh, being willing to talk about it. You might be wondering why we're having this convo at a pizza place. Well, Sabrina Pate Curavilla is part owner of this Jacksonville family restaurant, which they've had for more than half a century. She's also an estate planning attorney, so she fittingly has a podcast called Pizza and Planning. So I think a lot of us think of our grandparents doing it and people that are sure. in their older years. But how old are you? 27. Yeah. 27. I'm 35. All right. 
Should we be having this conversation now? Absolutely, absolutely. So every adult really needs an estate plan. It's a misunderstanding that it's for the elderly and for the wealthy or for someone who's sick. Uh, estate planning really ranges from 18 up. And it doesn't mean that an 18 year old needs the same thing that a 65 year old needs or a 75 year old needs or somebody who's ill or extremely wealthy, but there are certain documents that every adult needs to have in place. So are you familiar with those documents at all? No, definitely tell us about it because okay. this is something I really have never thought about. So estate planning is all about retaining decisions and preserving our choices for us to preserve rather than a physician that doesn't know us or a court. So that's really what it's all about. And that's why it starts from 18 and, yeah. go, and goes up. So you two are certainly not too young to consider this. What are some of the things that I should be like getting in order if I am gonna go ahead and start planning? So we wanna think about who's gonna make healthcare decisions and we wanna think about who's gonna make financial decisions. And that doesn't have to be the same person. So those are the considerations is I may have one person in my life who's really great with you know, financial decisions, really great with money but they would fall apart if they were making healthcare decisions for me, right? right? Or vice versa, someone who's really great at healthcare and would like, you know, be calm during that process, but they can't handle money to save their lives, right? So, so not my sister. There you go, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Got it. So you're picking the people that you think would be best in a bad situation. Absolutely, absolutely. Someone who's gonna serve your needs and who knows you. I'm so, sorry, we had to dig in. By no, way. definitely, <laughs> please. Yeah. It's really good. I'm so glad that you, that you love it. Delicious. Yeah. There's a few things you need to know about estate planning. You can create a will, no matter how old you are, to protect your assets and control how they're distributed after death. Without one, state law will make those decisions for you, and that's not necessarily a good thing. I am William Vale. I am a financial planner with Integrity Wealth Advisors. It is so very important to have that discussion about how best to go about planning for death and why you should be thinking about it. If you don't have control of those assets, the state that you live in or the jurisdiction you live in will eventually have control over those assets. Getting your financial planner involved if you have one or seeking help from one is a good first step. You should consider a trust to manage your assets to avoid probate and minimize your estate taxes. It can give you more control over where your money is going. An estate planner like Sabrina will actually create the will with you. If you're working with a financial planner, that person will also work with an estate planner as well to help you build a will and determine where you want your assets to go. Any asset of value that you have that you want your loved ones to receive after your death. I mean, that could be real estate, you know, business interests, any retirement accounts. You might be wondering how much this process costs. Estate planning is an investment. It's typically between $1,000 and $4,000. It's going to cost to create a will, right? But at the end of the day, that peace of mind and minimizing family conflicts when you do pass, I think those benefits far exceed what it would cost up front. We all work too hard to build wealth, to have somebody make those decisions for you when you should be doing it for yourself. So let's recap everything we've covered. You should start now, regardless of your age. You should understand your goals, and then you can create a will. Consider a trust to manage your assets and appoint guardians for minor children if you have them. Don't forget to designate beneficiaries. Plan for incapacity if something happens to you. Charitable giving, always a good thing to do. Review and update it regularly because, well, our situations change. And seek professional guidance. For Solutionaries, I'm Tiffany Salome. And I'm Vic Michalucci. Happy planning. Solutionaries needs you to be part of the conversation. Your comments below will help us tackle new topics and track down solutions. And don't forget to subscribe.